looking now at weather. It's been a bit overcast outside today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some rain yeah. and some wind. Yeah. And you can look out the window. What do you see? Cloud. Cloud. That's a towering cumulus, in case you'd like to know. And off in the distance, we've got rain, especially along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So let me show you what's happening. What we have is a coastal flood advisory posted. It's not because of the rain, it's because of the wind. The wind at times 20, 30, 35 miles per hour, that is pushing the water on shore. And at high tide, tidal ranges now about a foot and a half. Sometimes we get some issues, especially over here at Shoreline Park this afternoon. Some reports of some flooding, and that was because of the water being pushed on shore. But there's also some rain. Wait, look at this in 3D. For a while, that was a pretty good thunderstorm that moved right by Gulfport. You've got another thunderstorm that's pushing up towards Pearl River. So there's still some rain out there. Metro area is looking pretty good. Look, another shower just popped to the south of Hammond. That's why I like to put it in 3D. You can see what's really happening. And some showers moving up close to Bogalusa, too. But let's look at the big picture. I know a lot of you interested in Invest 91L. So here's the deal. Why isn't coming here? High pressure. We've got this strong high pressure with high pressure. You get that clockwise flow, and it's really pushing it off to the west. But over along the mid Atlantic coast, that's where we have high pressure loft that causes the air to be compressed. They have a whole lot of heat going on with heat advisories. Meanwhile, over here in Texas, where they've been pounded with rain for the month of May, it was record rainfall. Here comes Invest 91L, the real potential for it to dump a whole lot of rain. So we can look, an Air Force Reconnaissance plane went in. They did not find that closed, low-level circulation. But I am seeing a real flare-up of activity. Some dry air is getting wrapped into it. We can put that radar in. You can see the spin. But the center is more on the edge of all of that rain. So as we look at the forecast model, takes the system on shore, dumps a whole lot of rain. Wait, look Look at this rainfall forecast. You can see how the rain moves in right over Texas and then turns to the northeast over the mid Mississippi Valley. So we can expect for us to have some rain moving through, but not a lot. The main activity is going to be to our west. Right now, we've seen a few showers. That's going to diminish this evening. I don't see it as a really big deal. Midnight hour, isolated showers. But when you get these showers, you can get some gusty winds. Then as we go into tomorrow, some off and on rain. But I've only got our rain chances at about a 20, maybe 30 percent chance. And that means it's going to be hot. High temperatures, low 90s. But here is a look at that forecast. And you can see the wind flow, how that moisture is going to be heading northward just into Texas and then head to the northeast. As we go into your Wednesday, low 90s again. As we go into your Thursday, I'm not seeing a big chance of rain. The main area of rain is to the northwest. Gosh, it was gorgeous today in past Christian. Alan Silver sent that in. So pretty, of course, now they have rain. 90 degrees was the high. That's the average. It's that time of the year. 85 degrees now. The wind's not bad. And we can look at our temperatures from 78 to 85. And the reason cooler in Slidell is that they had that rain. The wind southeast, 9, 15 miles per hour, but at times gusting as high as 39 miles per hour at the lakefront. So tomorrow, not a big rain chance. Noontime, upper 80s, 3 o'clock, near 90. Going into Wednesday and Thursday, very similar forecast. And for the weekend, about a 20% chance of rain and still hot. Good time to go to the pool looking nice for Father's Day. Sounds good.